G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Now uh, today I've got this uh, X8 Stunt clone from Kmart that I reviewed the other day. Now what I'll be doing today is uh, carrying an action camera here. Here's my hat cam that I've been using for quite a while. And I've got on a Bugs 3 mount uh, with a little bit of a foam dampener there in the gap there to reduce the jello. So uh, hopefully we get some decent footage out of this one today. Uh, on this flight there's a bit of wind around at this field so it's going to be a bit windy so maybe there will be a little bit of jello who knows but uh just going to do a bit of an action cam uh test here on this quadcopter now since my review the other day um i decided to check all the props uh just to check the balance on my little balance of it at home and these props really shocked me they were way out of balance guys uh, two of them weren't too bad, but the other two, I think it's the clockwise motors, were absolutely way out of whack. I, I actually used a bit of clear sellotape on the bottom of these uh, of each uh, prop, and uh, two of them, like I said, uh, took quite a bit of tape to balance out. So that would have uh, really affected the on the review the jello of that camera as well the original camera so anyway hopefully i've eliminated that as a factor of uh the shakiness in the video for today uh for day, today's test and while i was at it when i had the props off i put a bit of oil on the shafts the motor shafts and the little um these props come with a little bronze bush i oiled them up so it's they're pretty smooth now there's much less friction than uh they were out the box. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to take it for a flight. All right, guys, I've got it all bound up. I've done the gyro calibration. I'll start recording in 1080p. And let's take it up for a flight. Start off in second ray. So we'll try to get some video. It is quite windy now. It's really picked up. So there may be a bit of jello wobble from the wind. So just try to be easy on the stick. Now I've also put a larger battery in this, it's a 2000 milliamp hour, it's actually the battery out of the GPS one, I'm giving it its first cycle, the Aero View that i just done an unboxing on, also from Kmart, the GPS one, so I charged one of those batteries up, because that one came with two, and uh, decided to give that a first cycle, so... We have uh, 500 milliamp hours bigger than the stock battery that came with this one. This one came with a 1500 milliamp hour. This one's got some pretty good range, it's rated for 200 meters. So uh, yeah, great fly guys, especially for the price. It's only a $79 drone from Kmart. And uh, these ones, you know, when they first come out, the X8C from SEMA a few years ago, they were a lot more than that in price, that's for sure. So just cruising around in second rate. Total manual fly, so I'm just regulating the throttle. Send it up a bit. And these are a good drone to learn on, guys, for beginners. 
I learnt to fly on these types of quadcopters and so did many people at least if you started flying about four or five years ago this is all pretty much we had it was manual flying toy drones with no aids of GPS or uh, altitude hold let's have a look at it here so you regulate and every movement is all all you on you with these types of drones Try to hold it stable. Get a thumbnail. All right. It's got good power and great range. 200 meters, like I said, that's what they reckon. This would be a great one to put a FPV system on and fly around a park like this. You can see today I'm on my own, just after midday, it's around one o'clock, bit of a sea breeze coming through, and hopefully I'm getting some good video here, let's put in third ray. Do some sport flying a bit. some bank turns get it out she's quick so let me just let it float away with the wind and pan around. See how quick you can bring it down when it's uh, a manual flyer? Just lower that throttle and she comes right down. That's the beauty about manual flying drones. You can bring it down as soon as you want to. Uh, when you've got altitude hold, drones with a barometer, it wouldn't come down that quick. But what a fantastic fly, guys. In the headwind there, now I'm on the, with the tailwind. I'll go on first break. And look at the yaw, <laughs> very slow. So that's first break. Full pitch forward. And it's trying to fight the headwind there. Let's see if I can bring it back slowly. Just hovering there. Maybe I'll go this way a little bit. Bring it back, fight the wind this way in first ray. See if I can get some stable footage. Should get some good flight time without that Wi Fi rubbish. It has got a payload with the action camera though. Uh, I've got eight minutes with the Wi Fi on a windy day on my review. But this is just cruising first rate. Pretty cool. Raise it up a bit. Hopefully, there's not much jello. That's what I'm hoping for with this uh, action camera mount with the Bug 3 mount. I'll put a bit of a foam dampener there. 
as well. They're still flying around. Second ray. Pretty cool. So we've got LVC now, so I'm going to land it. Time to bring it down slowly. There we go. Pretty good flight. Okay guys, well, let me just turn off this uh, footage, make sure I've got that. So it looks like I've got nine minutes worth of footage there. Okay, awesome. So there you go guys, that is the Stunt X8 uh, style quadcopter that you can pick up at Kmart at the moment for $79. Great quadcopter guys, as you can see, flies superbly, it's got three speed rates instead of the original SEMA product which only has high and low, and uh, yeah, toting an action camera today, taking 1080p video, hopefully the video turned out pretty good since I balanced the prop. If there is a bit of jello in this footage, I'd say it's probably mainly due to the brush motors, the wind that I encountered on this flight, and Possibly the props being maybe not balanced good enough by myself. So uh, I took measures to uh, make sure this mount had enough cushion because there's a gap between this, uh, you can see this mount. So I'll put a bit of uh, foam there. So hopefully it turned out pretty good anyway. All right, guys, thanks for watching once again. If you like this video, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Always welcome comments and... Uh, Great to hear from you always. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video on the stunt quadcopter, big brush quadcopter from Kmart. All right, guys, happy flying, and I'll catch you on the next video. Till then, bye for now.